Well, the major nutrient of concern in this watershed is nitrate, and nitrate primarily comes from tile drain fields. Uh, it also can move uh, laterally through subsurface areas into streams. But in Illinois, we know that the major source of nitrate is tile drained uh, corn and soybean fields. Yeah, well, nitrate in Illinois is typically uh, anywhere in tile lines from 5 milligrams per liter all the way up to 30 or 40 uh, milligrams per liter. And that equates to uh, what we're really interested in, which is the pounds uh, per acre loss of, of nitrate as nitrogen. And in Illinois, in the tile drain regions, that's typically anywhere from 10 to 30 or 40 pounds per acre per year. Well, there's a wide range of practices uh, that can be used to uh, reduce nitrate from tile drain fields. They include infield management, edge of field management, uh, and even changing the uh, cropping system. So, for example, infield would be management, uh, nutrient management, and so changing the timing of uh, fertilizer application, changing the rate, changing the form, what is called the four R's. Uh, those kind of management decisions on, on how you apply nutrients, uh, particularly nitrogen fertilizer, and how it's managed really is what matters. Uh, so again, going from fall to spring application, or even from spring to side dress application. So that's one whole range of practices. Another is things like cover crops, and putting cover crops on in the, in, in the fall, or as early in the fall as possible, so that they take up uh, any excess nitrogen, and that prevents it be, from being lost over the winter and early spring. Phosphorus is the secondary nutrient, and phosphorus uh, losses in the tile-drained watersheds tend to be lower than southern Illinois. So in this watershed, phosphorus is not, is not the major concern, it is nitrate. But phosphorus is really important from a local water quality perspective. It is the nutrient that causes algal blooms in, in our streams and in our reservoirs. And so we are still concerned about phosphorus even, even in a tile drain watershed. And so some of the same practices that we've already discussed also work, that we work for nitrate, also work for phosphorus. So things like cover crops, not adding phosphorus when the soil test says we don't need to add phosphorus. That's something that we know is really important in this watershed and other surrounding ones is don't add phosphorus when you don't need to.